Fusion.com. Thanks very much for joining me today. Today I want to talk about uh, keywords and hashtags. Now, if you run a blog or a website, uh, or you're somebody that puts up quite a lot of videos on YouTube here, you'll understand what I mean when we talk about keywords. Um, basically, keywords are a way to help Google rate and um, put your, your articles out there so that they can be found by searchers. Now, Google have been coming up with a lot of different algorithms at the minute. The, the current one being Penguin. And the, the next one that's coming out is Hummingbird. Now, a lot of people don't take much notice of these algorithms, but SEOs do. And they really delve into them to make sure that they're giving their clients the best possible service that they can. Now, one of the things about the keywords are that when you put a, an article out, it's not actually the writing of the article that is the time-consuming part of it. It's the SEO of the article or the video that you've got to do afterwards. Kind of like you go and you've got to research your keywords, make sure that they're not too popular or they're not too obscure. And so that you can get just the right kind of keyword where you think your content is going to be found. Well, Instead of doing that now, Google seemed to be heading in the direction where they're going to be doing away with keywords altogether. They're not going to be relevant. As far as Google are concerned, they don't need us to tell them whether our content is relevant and what our content is about. Their algorithms are made to do just that. And as far as Google's concerned, their algorithms are strong enough to be able to do that. And they don't need us to do this anymore with the keywords. So as a result of that, no longer when you write an article or you put a video out that you're going to have to use these keywords. You can use them if you want, but Google aren't going to be taking them into consideration. Now, I'm not exactly sure when there's a specific date as to when this is going to happen. I suppose if you keep an eye out on Matt Cutts, he's uh, one of the engineers at Google who keeps putting up videos on a regular basis and updating people on this type of thing. He will come up with uh, a date, a definite date, I'm sure as to when this is completely stopped. Um, the other thing is, is hashtags. Now, we all know hashtags with from Twitter. Uh, and it's kind of, they're kind of along the same lines as keywords. But um, my understanding is that, the, that they're a lot less formal. You know, there's not a lot of research goes in behind these types of things. And whenever you're putting content out there, you just hashtag what you think are the the important words or phrase. Um, Google appear to be moving towards that type of thing now. Not so much in blogs or videos, but certainly on their Google Plus page, whenever you're putting content out on that, you can use hashtags in the same way that you do on Twitter. Now, apparently Facebook are also looking into this type of um, hashtag search idea, but that hasn't come about yet. Um, so going forward, I think for a lot of SEOs, some SEOs are going to struggle with this type of thing and other SEOs, it'll probably be a blessing. But regardless which way they look at it, they're going to have to go back to their clients and make sure that all their clients' stuff is in accordance to the way Google are being moving forward. Uh, I suppose at the minute it is a bit of an SEO's nightmare because they're constantly having to change things in accordance to the updates that are coming out on a quite a regular basis really uh, as far as penguin is concerned and goodness knows what's going to happen whenever hummingbird comes out whether it's going to have a, quite a, a deep influx of uh, updates or or not now the, the the other thing that i want to talk about is blackberry now we all know that pretty much since apple brought out the first iphone blackberry have been struggling blackberry wanted to stick by their guns and they thought that the keyboard that was on the blackberry that the blackberry is synonymous with uh, was going to get them through it and that the iPhone was just a phase. Well, unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. A lot of phones that have come out now are completely keyboardless. Um, and so as a result of that, BlackBerry have fallen far too far behind, which is quite kind of quite sad because the BlackBerry used to be the phone to have, a cer especially within the business section, uh, se sorry, sector. Um, and it is, regardless which way you look at it, it is a shame to see such a, a big company fall to to its knees, really, because they were definitely the, the leaders when it came to that type of phone, or when it came to that type of sector, the, the business sector. They certainly were the phone to have. Uh, now, one of two things that seems to be happening with that is the vultures seem to be hovering over with 
uh, BlackBerry at the minute, and they are looking to t pick parts, the the good parts that's going to enhance their their companies. Um, and at the minute, Apple are sending people up there to check, kind of cherry pick the 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 real good talent that's coming away from BlackBerry now, or the could, can be tempted to come away from BlackBerry and come down to Cupertino and start working down there in the campus. And that's obviously going to be good for Apple users uh, because then they're going to be getting some fresh talent and there's some fresh ideas, uh, which is always a good thing. And the other thing is that the two original um, co-founders of BlackBerry are looking to buy the company back. Now, obviously, they stepped away for, from it for whatever reasons uh, quite a while ago. And they are now sitting, seeing their, the company that they once formed be picked apart and they don't really want that so i think it's a good thing that they're getting back interested in it some people might say well why are they getting interested in it you know what are they going to be able to do that then nobody else has been able to do i don't really think it's so much about that they they built up a company it's being ripped apart and it's probably ripping them apart internally as well to see it go like that and so they're maybe just trying to do it to try and save it and protect it and do what they can to revive it uh, as best they can. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, I did say in the past that I um, uh, apologize about the lack of videos that I'm getting out, but I am trying to certainly get more videos out there. Uh, also, I said about putting my content out on Tech Media Fusion as well. Uh, I certainly seem to be getting that together there seems to be a lot more content that i'm putting out in tech media fusion which is a really good thing and i hope that continues anyway guys thanks very much don't forget if you like this video or you, you want to put any comments about it by all means do so down below and uh rate the video as well if you if you enjoy it that is uh you can also follow me on facebook and twitter and google plus the links for that are also down below all the best guys and see you in the next video bye